And go. After this car. All right, and go. Our first stop is Grace Hudson Museum. Our next stop is Grace Hudson Museum. Now we are at Grace Hudson Museum. Berries. You see their little green? Little green guys right here. Yeah. So they're gonna ripen and they're gonna become little red guys. And we call them manzanitas. Does anyone know why? Does anyone know what manzana means? With an adult. Always with an adult. Now I have some manzanita that I've taken the seeds out of. If you guys would like to try some, put your hands out. Let's try some. Let me tell you something. I love manzanita. <laughs> you can also make manzanita cider. Yeah. So you can make. Yeah, I'll try one. Let me tell you. Any of my adults? All right. Wait. Uh, this is a manzanita berry, and ma it, manzana is apple, so this is a little apple. Uh huh. So. I eat the pit too. I eat the little. Oh, let me focus on it. Don't eat the seed. This seed will make you feel really, really insane. And the seed of this will make you very sick, but it doesn't have a seed. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but when they say it's a little apple, I get a faint taste of an apple. But it's not a super strong taste because it's so small and it's... Uh, it, it's not juicy. It, it's not juicy. It's not hard. It's just kind of, uh, it's a harder texture than, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. And go. To me, it tastes more like dried apple because they're, it, because they're, it isn't juicy and, uh, it's very, it's a bit crunchy too. Can we pick one up? Oh, yes. Do you know what that is? Uh, what? Uh, it's a little apple. It's a rhythm instrument, music instrument. They're dancing and singing. Ah. Yeah. I can feel the dancing. <laughs> oh, dance. <laughs> yeah, you wear one of these and go. I don't know. No, that's a fan. Take one with this. Huh? Here. Oh, it's not a little bit. Uh, let's turn your body. Okay. Alright, ready? One, two, three, three. Wait, should I try to Yeah. Oh, or like Yeah, like you, your Nenga. Ready? Uh, hold it the other way. Yeah. No, no, so no, no, this way. So, so it's parallel. Yeah. Ready? Uh, use the other arm. So shadow does. Yeah, that's good. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh. All right, pretend you're poking the camera. This is actually, this is oh, to demonstrate, that. this isn't exactly like it's just a nail in the end. It's not really made for drilling, but it does demonstrate the procedure. 
when you wind this up and then when you spin it this counterweight keeps it spinning so that it winds it back up the other way and you can just keep going i bet you guys could I bet you guys then you're gonna put your hands up you gotta wind you gotta wind the string up that's it you can do it that way too yeah Oops. hey look how quick you got that Oh no, it's not staying in place. I'll put it in. What is that? Most people take some, a dozen tries before they can get it going. Uh, <laughs> you gotta let go. Of, you gotta let it come back a little sooner. It's oh, that okay. hard. Get, get it spinning good, and then see the thing keeps spinning and winding. It's not that hard. Oops. Oops. <laughs> ah, I, oh, I got it. Okay. Also, the whole your, your friction. Yeah, you just got to get the rhythm and let it tell you. Oh! Not too fast! Ah. It's, a, it's a patient spot. Huh? No. Right. Then there's these. The, they call it what little bear calls a growler. Wow. Uh, That's right. I probably won't. Get, wait, is that spin it? Wait. Uh, the same kind of thing. It is. It goes on momentum. You get it spinning, but then you got to let it wind back up. If you just pull it, it stops. Give it, give it a little slack. Now, now spin it around like you're doing, but with some slack in it. So this is going to wind up. Now spin it. Now go. Now like this. Do this. Do it like this. There you go. Now you got to spin. Now you pull. But you just pull a little, and then you let it let it off. Just pull a little bit. Don't drill clear through the table. A little hard to get the knack of it, to get the hang of it. Kind of. <laughs> you can make one at home with a big uh, button. Ah, look at this. This is, a, this is an acorn top. An acorn top. Did you get it going? This is a turtle and an acorn's, uh, no, not an acorn, uh, a deer's hoof, right? Wait, wait. Uh, one more time? This is a turtle and a deer's See, hoof. First you gotta get it what this rattler uh, rattler's made of? This rattle is made of a turtle and a deer's hoof. But you gotta pull it, but before it gets hooked, you gotta let it go again. You can. As much as you can there. Bring it the whole bunch. You gotta get it going around. See how I get it going around like that? At this booth, we're going to play with some Native American toys. When you first make them, that makes wow. spin. they still use those in the hospital. A good slice. But if you let it back, then it will keep uh, going like you're going, going around the other way. Can you go the other way? Usually, it's most people easier to go that way. Yeah. From a plant. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is see, watch my hand. Pull it out. See what I'm doing? Just, just going whichever way you want to go. You can go that way too. But you got to get it wound up. And then you go. Now we're gonna go out to the wild gardens. Alright, and go. First we're gonna check out pulped under pressure. Uh, First we're gonna check out pulped under pressure, the art of handmade paper exhibit. <laughs> And then I'll say, this is a temporary exhibit that changes out every four months. Oh, the turtles.
This paper? What? Huh. Wait. Is this made of paper? I think so. That's amazing. It looks like like bricks. This, this piece? This piece is called What Does It Does Do? But uh I, I don't know. This one is scissors, and they drew scissors, and it looks like it's cutting the paper. There's a big hole. I gonna say. Does an ing always move? Does it? All right, and go. There's also these patterns. This is spray 10, spray 9, spray 11. Hmm, they're not in order. One thing I find amazing about all of these is that they come from paper. Like, it, this is all paper. It's this thing. Paper. And, the, and also, are these bricks paper? Yeah, I think they are. That's amazing. I already said that. What do you want to go first? Which room? This one? Here. Want to what's in here? Are these the new American baskets? Yeah, to what's in this room there. In this room, uh, they show many different baskets that were made by Native Americans. This one, this one, uh, these look kind of like hats. What? Their baskets. Put them with The family. Person gallery. Hmm. Is this the the? Museum owner's family. And go. In this room, wait, this room is an exhibit about. <coughs> this room is an exhibit about Grace Carpenter Hudson. Wait, no, Grace Hudson. Grace Carpenter Hudson. Okay. This room is an exhibit about Grace Carpenter Hudson's family members because Grace Hudson, the name of the museum is Grace Hudson. Uh, here's a, wow, they have a book for their family. And there's also, there's also crazy hair art. Uh, a lot of family, a lot of family artifacts and objects. And Grace Carpenter Hudson used, and Grace Carpenter Hudson used plaster casting to make this little hand of her young niece. Yeah, they, they are. Wait, no, that's. Are these all? No, well, I don't think. Um... Well, I don't think they're made by her, but they're about her. Is there a plaster? Yeah, she painted stuff. Okay, hold on, sir. Oh, there you go. We're in the Grace Carpenter Hudson Gallery, and she painted these things. She has so many talents. There you go. A lot of her paintings are about Native Americans. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is Achilles because it says Achilles. Oh. 
Some of her early works are still lifes. This one is 1887 to 1890. Well, that's just all the place. Look at that. I think they like rabbits. There's a rabbit sculpture and rabbit dolls. Yeah, dolls. This rabbit, <laughs> this rabbit has glasses and is reading. Right, come on. And go. That is the Grace Hudson Museum. Brother, what was your favorite part? Uh -huh. I think. Uh, go. I think my favorite part was the section was the outdoor exhibit where you can play with all the different Native American toys. I don't really have a favorite part. That it was all cool. The Native American section. Wait. I don't really have a favorite part because it was all so cool. I like playing with the Native American toys and then seeing all the paper art, then uh, go into those still, li still lifes and other paintings by Grace Hudson. All right, and then was attraction, whatever. Yeah. Have to count the same. Onto the next attraction.